Hello guys, and this is my zombie apocalypse survival kit. That's right. It's been a long time coming here, but so I'm just going to get right down to business here. Now this is, before I get started, this is my opinion. This is my personal zombie stash stuff, whatever. Okay. The most important thing you're going to need is a backpack the, the uh, expandable deal with the clippies and the, you know, all, all this kind of pockets and stuff like that. That's your first thing you're going to need. And you're going to need a change of clothes in that. First thing. Put that on the list. Backpack first. Change of clothes. Okay. We've got that settled. Next thing you want in that bag is, of course, a gun. Okay. That is the best thing you can have in a zombie apocalypse. You gotta have guns, right? You can never have too many guns. Okay. Guns. You thought I sold a ball. Of course, you're going to need some melee weapons, right? You know how people told you that those cheap swords you bought from the flea market are useless? No! Because this could save your life in a zombie apocalypse. This is like... 40 bucks, maybe, maybe, okay? Very straight, and it can be sharpened, okay? Anything can be sharpened. You can sharpen a lawnmower blade and turn it into a melee weapon. This is a melee weapon. A stick with freaking nails drove into it. That's a zombie head bashing club right there, boys and girls. One of the most important melee weapons, well, I'll get to the most important melee weapon, but, this guy right here can also save your life. Never underestimate the butcher knife, okay? If a zombie can reach this far, you can reach that far too, but whew, guess what? You've got another 10 inches of blade right there to stab that forehead or whew, cut that neck or whatever. Plus, knives always come in handy, okay? The most important melee weapon of all is the axe okay the axe you can chop wood with it you can chop doors down with it you can chop any you can chop you know chop zombie faces with it okay if you don't have an axe make sure somebody in your group has an axe and that's another thing stay in groups i mean have you ever seen a zombie movie where they were not in groups you don't see that many another thing you need is you know, some form of entertainment. I mean, if you get in a zombie apocalypse, you're gonna need some form of entertainment. Now, some things that I didn't put in here, uh, of course you need a first aid kit, okay? Um, with all kind of antibiotic stuff and antibacterial stuff and hand sanitizer and stuff like that in your first aid kit. That's the best thing you need because what do you always go for in a zombie game? A health pack. Yeah, that's a first aid kit. Okay. And make sure you take some kind of alcohol. And I don't mean rubbing alcohol. I mean drinking alcohol. Because, <clears throat> for two reasons. If you get stressed out in zombie apocalypse, you can drink. If you get uh, an infection or something, you can pour it on it. So you might as well take drinking alcohol instead of rubbing alcohol. Because you can't really drink rubbing alcohol. I mean, you can, of course. But, uh... I wouldn't recommend it. Of course, you need your shotgun, you need your sniper rifle, okay, and you need your silent kill weapons like the knife, axe, crossbow, bow and arrow, whatever. And um, yeah, binoculars might be a, a good uh, investment as well. So that is my zombie apocalypse survival kit. Good hunting, everybody. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching the Zompocalypse Survival Kit. It's a little different than a 
average vlog, which I'm sure you're sick of. Uh, I trust you know to click the video right there if you want to see that. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Click the thumbs up button if you haven't already. And that's pretty much it. And I appreciate it. I really do. I'm sorry this video was a little blurry in spots, but my camera was on autofocus and I didn't know it until the end. Yeah. So, whatever. Okay. Thanks, guys. See you. Bye.